Well, hello, everybody. I am excited to have the afternoon here with my friend, Sharon. She wrote an awesome Hi. book that I highly recommend to all you ladies called I Will Mentor You. And uh, we tried to do a Facebook Live and, well, had a little trouble. So, hey, plan B. It works out great. So, hey, Sharon, welcome. I'm so glad to see you. Hi, Susan. It's great to see you, too. And hello to everyone that might be listening. Right. So how long have you wanted to write a book? Was that something that's been in your heart for a while? It is. Um, it just it, the timing just never seemed to be right. And then I actually started writing um, about two, two and a half years ago. And then we made the big, big decision to move out here to California. So all the writing got put on hold. Um, but since I moved out here, I got really busy and was managed to finish it and get it published. So I couldn't be happier. Well, that's awesome. Well, and the book is called, I Will Mentor You, A Christian Woman's Roadmap to Traveling Life Together, because life okay. wasn't meant to be traveled alone. And I personally have experienced that with you. You've journeyed beside me over the years in a lot of different ways. But um, tell folks a little bit more about why mentoring is important to you and how it might impact them. Well, um, I, I never had, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I never had a mentor. Um, when I was younger and I really needed one. I really could have used a, a spiritually mature woman in my life to uh, come up alongside of me and give me their wisdom and guidance and, and help and prayers. <clears throat> so that um, knowing that there was a need uh, in everyone's life, I'm no different than anyone else. We all need a mentor in our lives. So um, I started on, on the journey um, of thinking about mentoring. I started uh, uh, a Bible study first, and then through that Bible study and, and getting to know those women, I started some mentoring relationships with some of them. And then as the um, uh, pastors at the church, um, I, I got to know them and they got to know me. And many of them started to recommend uh, women uh, that I could maybe come up alongside and um, and mentor and talk to and love on. So that's kind of how that all happened. And then through my experiences with uh, the mentoring over many, many years, um, I, as you read in my book, there's lots of examples of some of my mentoring experiences. That's great. So who can be a mentor or who should be a mentor? Well, I really believe that uh, Titus 2 um, talks to the verses there are talking to spiritually mature women. And so that any woman who knows God's word, knows the Lord, and um, uh, sh shares that belief in the Lord needs to obey that command in Titus 2 and to look around their world and see other women who are there that they can reach out to and help and just have an open willing heart to um to do that um i think everyone needs a mentor and everyone can be a mentor that's right i know i i when i picked up the book you know we would do this book launch so i thought oh i've got to read it so i know what it's about and stuff but i didn't really think about me being a mentor but as i read it it was any woman because it doesn't need to be necessarily a formal setting right you don't have to like lead a big study or have some big plan, right? No, not at all. And um, a mentor can just merely being a good friend to someone. Um, it's it, it obviously just goes a little beyond just friendship of talking about where to shop and get your hair done and things like that. It's it's being intentional in your life and reaching out to someone with an intentional, in an intentional way to talk about the important things of life that will encourage her and, um, and help her as she maybe struggles with some things. Absolutely. And it's like anything that you've gone through that you are willing to be transparent with, God can use to impact another woman's life. I know you've been through a number of things in your life and there are things in this book, I've known you for 20 so years that I had no clue. <laughs> And we're not going to tell you what those are, people. We went to get the book, but there's some like you'll go, wow, really? And, uh, and even her own kids didn't know it until she was writing this book and wanted to share with them and, and let them know. And, but it's things that will impact your heart and let you know that 
you know, God uses those tough things and some circumstances in your life that maybe you would rather not go through, but you could help somebody else walk through it because you've gone through it first. That's exactly right, Susan. And, and um, our good friend, Sherry Martin, as I quoted her in the book, she says that God will never waste our trials and tribulations and our hurts and sorrows, whatever they may be. He intends for us to um, learn and to comfort others with the same comfort that we received um, when we were hurting and going through whatever it was. So um, as I stated in my book, I um, went through breast cancer a number of years ago, and it has just been amazing. The number of women that I've rubbed up against and the Lord has placed before me that um, has is struggling with the diagnosis of breast cancer. And um, I've, I've had the privilege to come up alongside of them and to um, say, hey, look at me, you know, my hair's grown back, I'm strong and I'm healthy, and I'm 13 years out now from the diagnosis. And so, yay! <laughs> and so I, I would hope that that would be encouraging to a woman who was newly diagnosed with, with breast cancer. So, um, uh, and one thing I've always said to breast cancer um, patients is that if you're going to get cancer, breast cancer is the best one to get because they have made tremendous strides in um, diagnosing and, and the treating and the protocol that they take in the medical field. And many, many, many women are surviving and thriving after a breast cancer diagnosis. So. Um, just saying, just saying that, and and them seeing me, I think, can be an encouragement. So that's how God can use our trials. I mean, that was a terrible time, a terrible thing that that Richard and I, my husband, had we had to go through together. And um, but uh, God has been using it all along. He does, and it's just it's neat that you can do that and be transparent, and, and you know that what you're going through isn't going for naught. Well, I'll tell you, the book is, is real conversational. It's just like you're sitting down with your good friend Sharon across the table and having a cup of coffee and you just kind of walk in this journey along. And, and if you are looking for a more structured thing, she gives some great resources in here that will help you too. Um, the book is available on Amazon. It's called I Will Mentor You. Also, Sharon has a website. I will mentor you.com and, right. um, and she's also available coming for some women speaking things. So if you're doing something and you want somebody to come and share something, um, maybe even a breakout session or something, she now lives in California, but Hey, she pretty regularly comes back to Ohio. She's got some grandkids here still and a bunch of friends. So, uh, um, coming in between and, and they enjoy traveling. So, Hey, you may put it out there and, and, and invite her to be a part of your event and to pour into the ladies that are around you. And who knows what might work out. It can be kind of fun to do that. So is there anything else that you want to share or tell folks, Sharon? Well, you mentioned um, what I was interested in in the future. I would love to um, go to some churches that have some women that are mature who want to mentor, but they just don't quite know how, or they're, they're, they're being held back by some of the myths and lies that they're believing. So I would love to be able to talk to them, maybe put on a little mentoring workshop to um, teach and train women how to mentor others. So that's my heart's desire. We'll see what the Lord Lord has in store and as you said I'm um, I've got a suitcase I'm willing to travel and it's all about the journey's not meant to be going alone and so invite her in to be a part of your journey and uh, anyway what's well, fun seeing you and getting to talk with you Good to and see you. I got this figured out here and uh, y'all go get the book I will mentor you fight for a lady you love you won't be sorry thanks